give the, the in-class lecture. So that here, I would like to uh, discuss about the, sorry, uh, choose this one. Okay, so that here, if I have time, I would like to discuss the charm physics and the baryon decays. So the, oh, the charm physics is a unique uh, probe of new physics uh, compared to the, uh, the B physics and the K on physics, because uh, in the diagram, we have the C charm quark instead of the bottom quark in B physics and the strange quark in K on physics. But this charm quark is an uptight quark compared to the, this uh, bottom and the strange, and it has the intermediate mass between the bottom and the strange, and it has a positive charge. So that this is a unique probe compared to the uh, bottom and the strange quark. And since the currently the available light scatter scatter is up to 5 GB, so the AMC is very below unity. So the uh, real, real, reliable real, real, relativistic simulation is already possible. And we have accumulated data from charm, so-called charm factories. And the one is, uh, representative uh, experiment is the best experiment as I have in China. And this is the uh, E plus minus collider to generate uh, mainly the JPSI uh, Shiba uh, meson. And uh, this machine has been in operation for more than 10 years and still uh, it's running. And the Caesar and uh, this is the Cleopatra, Cleo C, uh, experiment and was led by Cornell University and this is also the E plus e minus collider and its operation is end at uh, was end, end at, ended at uh, in the 2008 and I also note that the B factories can also provide information and uh, the data for the uh, the child uh, uh, hadron decays so the, uh, the simplest decay is the leptonic decays. So the, the, the master formula is the same as the B meson leptonic decay. And this here shows the calculation of the, uh, this, the D, uh, D meson and the DS meson decay constant. And you can see that the many group uh, have been calculated to this decay constant and give the consistent result. And this decay rate uh, can be experimentally measured by the best three and the Creosy and the Bell Baba. And then the, this experimental result is turned into the uh, prediction for the uh, decay constant times CK uh, element. And then comparing this and then obtain the, this uh, VCS, uh, which is the, uh, the, here you can see that the, the theory is much more precise than the experiment. That is the same, similar to the case of the dimension electronic case. And actually, that uh, the, the, this four flavor relativistic simulation uh, can uh, have determined this decay constant with very high accuracy of 0.2%. But the situation is a little bit different, was different for the semi electronic case. For the let us consider the D2K renew semi electronic case. Again, the master formula is the same, but the that by combining the previous calculation of the form factor and experimental measurement of the rate, we obtained this value. Here, the dominant uncertainty comes from that QCD. But very recently, HPQCD collaboration calculated uh, the, uh, the uh, relevant form factor very precisely. And then they obtained, uh, so that in they employed the relativistic approach and simulate the wide region of the light spacing and the physical pion mass and then they improve the accuracy of the last calculation from the 1.5% to the 0.5%. And by using this result, we obtain the VCS as like this. So that here, the last QCD is no longer the source of the dominant uncertainty. And then by using this, that we can confirm the uh, entirety condition for the second row uh, with the 2%, 1 to 2% accuracy. So these two examples, the chronic decays and the same leptonic case uh, demonstrate that the uh, reliable relativistic approach can provide a precision simulation of the sham physics. Okay, then the, for the baryon physics, the, uh, sorry, the baryon decays, so the, the, there are many baryon decays, so the, some of them the provide the independent determination of the CKM element, and some of them provide uh, the red decays provide a good probe of new physics. But I said that uh, I have to say that the baryon decays are more challenging than mesonic decays because that we have the more involved Lorentz decomposition of the matter relevant matrix element. So in general, we have more form factors to be determined from that QCD. 
And another point is that the simulation itself will become more demanding, demanding because you want to use the larger lattice to control fine dense volume effect. And also, you want to use the light or hopefully physical biomass to control or to avoid chiral separation because the baryon CHPT is known to have the poor convergence in the chiral expansion. So it has the less predictability compared to the mesonic CHPT. And, uh, but the, and uh, I also note that the experimental data becoming available from the uh, LACD because these people, uh, proton proton collider produces the, the many and various B variants at once uh, by the high energy collision of proton. And here the example for the, uh, the lambda B to the proton uh, L nu and lambda C L nu decay. So the, here lambda B and lambda C is the consists of the up, down, and helical. Okay, so that and in the discussion of the uh, this uh, VUB and VCB tension, the I ignored this slant uh, orange band, but this is a uh, result from the baryonic decay, uh, this uh, semi-leptonic decay. So that these are marginally consistent with the, uh, the, the mesonic uh, exclusive decay. So we need, probably we need some improvement of a cross sec. So that uh, in this uh, the calculation, they employ the relativistic, so-called relativistic heavy co-caption that is uh, in the Hermilabo-like approach. And, but uh, that is okay, but uh, they use only the two spacing and relatively heavy pion mass and uh, small box. So that we, this setup is good for the first calculation, but to be improved or cross-checked by independent work. So I don't have the time, so that I skip this and let me summarize this class. So that for the heavy flavor physics, the, that QCD has wide applications and that such a new physics is uh, just uh, one example of it. And, but I have to say that the fully realistic relativistic simulation is still difficult for the next five years or so. And so that, uh, we have developed uh, several, uh, a few approaches. And the relativistic approach is thanks to the uh, improvement in the computer power and algorithm. Now, the relativist approach provides a very precise uh, realistic uh, study for jump physics. And if the approach is they provide the independent calculation based on the HQT and LQCD and the FMR approaches. So, okay, then the, for the search of new physics, we already have the several hints, but not sufficient to clarify the new physics. So, the, but the, uh, the, the, we have, there have been the steady progress in the QCD, so the leptonic decay has been studied very precisely. And now we are uh, the applying the precise QCD calculation for semi-leptonic decays and the mixed things. And uh, there have been the several proposals about how to study the, uh, the, uh, the inclusive decays and real decays, and our organizers also propose that. So the, and uh, I think that very, it is very interesting to study the uh, hadronic, non-leptonic VDKs, but uh, at the moment, I have no idea how, the, how to study this. But uh, by use, by, with the, this steady progress in that QCD, and in collaboration with the ongoing experiment, and also uh, the interplay with the energy frontier, I think that I, we can approach or reveal the nature of the new physics in the next decade or uh, so. Okay, so thank you very much. So do you have any questions?